Hey you guys, what is going on? It is the Siren and welcome back to a another video. We're back with a another Nuzlocke series. Now the last one tragically ended after episode number two because of the whole save issue thing and then the whole thing got corrupted. And I asked you guys what game you wanted to see next and Fire Red wasn't really a popular vote. But uh, I've been trying the past couple days to be able to play Sun and Moon or Mega Ruby or something like that. And that hasn't really been working out, but as in like I couldn't really figure out how to do it. But I think I'll be able to in the next couple days. So I might have two series of Nuzlocke on my channel at the same time. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, Fire Red isn't really a game that I've played all that much. I think I beat it like twice, but a really, really long time ago. And I don't entirely remember every single thing about it so if I forget some things here and there I am very sorry now everything should be randomized if you don't know the rules of Nuzlocke I will explain them in a minute but uh, okay yeah so we actually is a far-fetched out which is I'm pretty sure not what he normally has which is a good sign that uh, everything went well in in the pre recording stuff that I did because now it seems like everything is good here so uh, basically, well, hold on. Let me uh, let me choose my name and stuff, and then and then I'll explain everything that's going on with the whole Nuzlocke thing. And uh, there we go. Okay, so that is done. And then um, our our uh, rival in this is Gary. Oh, well, you know, we're actually just gonna name him Gary because that that I, that is his name. So that makes sense. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so basically, what Nuzlocke is is there are three. Major rule. Well, actually, one of them isn't too major. There are two major, major rules. One of them that isn't major, so I'll just go over that first, is every single Pokemon that I catch, I have to nickname. So, there's that. But again, that's not really a major rule, but it is, but it is what it is. Uh, but the big thing about Nuzlocke is every single area that I go to, because every like all the spawning is completely randomized, I am only allowed to catch the first Pokemon that I see in every single area. Also, after I catch them, if they die, if they faint or whatever, then they are, then I have to either discard them or just move them to a different PC box and I'm never allowed to use them again. So it's basically as if they died. So, uh, yeah, there, uh, those are the basic rules. Now, I don't think I'm allowed to pass. Yeah, Oak comes up, uh, Professor Oak comes up and talks to me. Now, the three starters are completely randomized, but I'm gonna allow myself to choose which one I pick. So that's basically the only. Pokemon that I'm sort of allowed to choose if I want to use it or not but uh, really the only rule with the starter is he's the only Pokemon that I am allowed to keep even if everyone dies so if I get wiped like at a gym or something like if a gym completely takes me out uh, then and I have no Pokemon left then I then I keep my starter po like my, my, my starter Pokemon never dies I think I think that's how it works now, if I have that wrong, let me know. This is only the second time I'm doing an Nuzlocke, and the first time didn't even really count. So, if, if I get the rules wrong, please let me know. Okay, so now I think we get to go actually choose our Pokemon. So, here's going to be our Pokemon number one, our, our, our first choice. What is it going to be? A Slowpoke! Okay, that's not really a Pokemon that I want, to be honest. But it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Come on. You can actually get a Legendary from these. So, if I get a freaking Legendary, that would be insane. Come on, bring me something good! A Lanoon. That also reminds me, there are all gen actually I think it's just generations one through three in this, but it's not just the fire red Pokemon. Okay, I don't really want a Lanoon to be honest. Let's <gasps> Oh my god! We got a Kyogre! Are you kidding me? We got a freaking Kyogre! I was, before I was like, you can get a legendary from these! I didn't think that we actually would! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That is crazy! You can't even get Kyogre in this game! Oh my, that is insane, that is cr I can't, I actually can't believe it, I can't believe it. Last time, we, like, when we played on Pokemon Ruby, we got a, a Raikou as our starter, and that was so freaking lucky, we legit just got two legendary starters in two series in a row, that is actually insane, I can't believe it, I cannot freaking believe it. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we're obviously going to say yes to the Kyogre. That is crazy, dude. Holy crap. Kyogre's actually, like, in my opinion at least, I think that he's one of the best legendaries of any legendary. Like, his stats are ridiculous. His special attack is, like, 150. Like, unbelievable. Obviously, there are still a couple that are better than him. Like, oh, I actually have to nickname him as well. What do I nickname this dude? What do I nickname this guy? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna name him Origin because he learns that move Origin Pulse and that's just what it reminded me of right away. So Origin. Uh yeah, there we go. I don't know, guy look okay. So obviously this this series is not live streamed or anything. Which basically means I don't get any of your feedback until after the episode. So I, I, like, I have to come up with all the nicknames on my own, which kind of, it doesn't suck, but it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to just come up with nicknames on the spot, like, boom, 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 you know? So if I come up with any, like, terrible freaking nicknames, um, I'm very, very sorry. Now I think that we actually battle Gary. Yeah, he's gonna come down and try to take us out, but, uh, I think that he's going to fail miserably because... Uh, little does he know, I actually have a, a legendary starter. Alright, so here we go. Let's see if we can take out his Lanoon. I'm sure that we can. We actually might not even have a good move. Uh, I don't know. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers... Okay, like, come on. I, I forgot that there was actually a tutorial and stuff. I legit... I had no clue that there was a tutorial. I guess it's been that long since I've played this game. That is crazy. Alright, let's see, uh, what we can do. Oh, I made it rain. Let's go. Oh, I should have named him Drizzle. That's such a cool name. So, Water Pulse. Okay, so he starts with a Water Pulse, which is really good. I don't think that will one bang, but I'm sure that will do some mad damage. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, I knew it, dude. I just have that sense. That game sense, dude. That game knowledge. I just know. I just know what it's going to be. But uh, there we go. This is going to be an easy KO for your boy, Origin. There we go. Sit down, Lanoon. Now, I think uh, that Gary's actually going to have the, the Lanoon throughout the... I mean, that would make sense that he would have the Lanoon throughout the entire series. I don't know if his party's going to be randomized, though, or if he's going to have, like, a normal party that he has. I'm pretty sure he usually has, like, a Pidgeotto or a Pidgeot and, and those guys. But I'm not sure if that's going to be randomized or what. I am pretty sure that normal trainers, at least, are, uh, are randomized. So, uh, there, there's that at least. Alright, do I get my running boots now? I, I would love to, uh, get some of that. Mom, no. Are you gonna make me go talk to my mom? Oh, press the start. I need to open the... Okay. Alright, alright, whatever. We're, we're, we're chilling, guys. We are all good. I actually still... Oh, wait! Actually, we don't need Pokeballs yet, right? Do we have Pokeballs yet? No, so, the actual Nuzlocke, like, catching part of, of the series doesn't start until I get Pokeballs. So whatever I found find here doesn't actually count, but it could be something crazy. Okay, a Drowsy. Honestly, I'm glad that we didn't have Pokeballs yet because I don't really want a Drowsy, if I'm being completely honest. But uh, whatever, that's all right. It's, it's decent XP. Will we one bang? Yes, we will. Okay, this is easy peasy cake. Now I think that I can, so yeah, I can actually speed up the game which uh, is going to be nice because usually games take around 24 hours of gameplay, I think, around there to actually uh, beat the game. And uh, just having it in times 2 speed is just going to help speed everything up, obviously. But I don't really want the series to be like a million episodes long. So if we play in times 2 speed, I think that uh, that's going to help out a lot of things. Now, do we have any money? That is what I am unsure of. Let's see. Oh, what's up, dude? Yes, I know Professor Oak, and I have to go take this back to Professor Oak. Okay, can I actually buy anything from you? No, I can't. Okay. So I have to go back to Professor Oak, give this thing to him, and then... I don't know if we get Pokeballs after that, but I'm, we, we should get Pokeballs pretty soon. Alright, so here we go. We're giving this thing to Professor Oak. Let's see, uh... Is he gonna give me any, any Pokeballs and stuff? Alright, Oak's parcel. I don't even know what that is. I actually don't even know. Alright, here we go. And Gary is back. Do you really want to, like, do you want to battle me again? Because even if you leveled up your dude to level 10, I'm pretty sure I would still destroy you. Alright, give me my Pokeballs. Thank you. Got the Pokedex and the Pokeballs. There we go. So we have five Pokeballs. And the thing is, guys, is uh, with Nuzlocke, if you don't catch that first Pokemon, you don't get a second chance at, like, the next Pokemon that you see. So I only have five Pokeballs. 
And I have a Kyogre, so I might like even one bang the the, the the Pokemon that I'm battling here. So, hold on, I'm gonna put it back to normal speed because it could get pretty intense. So, let me explain what's about to happen. We're about to battle our first Pokemon of this route. So every new route or every new area that you get to, the first Pokemon that you see is the only Pokemon that you can catch on that route. So we're about to, fa uh, we're about to battle our first one, but we only have five Pokeballs. Which isn't really good odds. Like, literally a Legendary could pop up, and if a Legendary pops up, there's basically a 0% chance that, we can, that we're going to catch it. Um, and also, our Kyogre most likely is going to one-bang whatever comes out, because it's level 6 now, and it, it almost one-banged the level 5, Lanoon. And, and there's not going to be level 5, it's going to be level 3, level 4, or level 2 even. Basically, what my point is, is, is I most likely am not going to catch this Pokemon, just so that you guys know. But I might, I might. Alright, let's see, let's see, here we go. <sighs> okay, first patch. Honestly, if I could get to the town before finding any Pokemon, that would be great because I... Nope, oh, here we go, here we go! A Breloom! Okay. Only level 3. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna one-bang. Even though Water Pulse is not very effective, I'm fairly sure that I will one-bang this thing. I'm fairly sure that I will. So anyway, let's... Let, we can, we're just gonna have to use our Pokeballs on it. I'm gonna use all five actually, because I'm pretty sure that I do have some money, just like starter money, that I can go. This game loves me. This game freaking loves me! It gives me a legendary starter, and then it lets me catch a fully healed Breloom first try. Oh, we actually have to name him now. We're gonna name him, um... We're gonna name him Mushroom, because he looks like a mushroom. Uh, but there we go! Alright, so we got Mushroom... And Origin now. So if I find another Pokemon in this route, I cannot catch it. I'm not allowed to catch it at all. Like, 0%. So literally, if a Legendary Mewtwo comes up, I swear, I swear on everything. I swear on everything. That was not planned. What is that? What was that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, game? This game, man. Oh my gosh. How did that just happen? How did that just happen? Oh no, dude. That is so annoying, bro. I'm not allowed to catch it. I'm not allowed to. We're gonna have to water pulse it. I don't know if we'll kill it actually, because it does a pretty good defense. Oh, we did anyway. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to everyone out there that I'm sure like a good portion of you would, would are gonna say like you should have caught it and just put it in your PC just to have it. That's not how this works. We have to we have to abide by the rules, guys. As sad as that is. Man, I literally called it. I said the next Pokemon we battle might... I said a Mew too, but come on. Come on. It doesn't get much freaking closer. Oh, that is brutality at its finest. All right, let's see if we can buy some more Pokeballs from this dude. We can. Oh, we actually have 3K. All right. Let's buy... Let's buy 2K worth. And then we're going to buy the rest in potions... Yeah, we're gonna buy two potions because we could get into a battle and 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 like end up like starting to lose. So we definitely don't want like because again, if any of my Pokemon die, I have to get rid of them. So I wouldn't have potions on me at all time. And also, antidotes are gonna be really clutch because um, what's up, dude? I don't know what this dude is saying. Oh, I have to. I'm battling this dude. Okay, this shouldn't be an issue. I don't. Oh wait, no, he's he's doing he's teaching me how to catch a Pokemon, I think. I don't really know what's going on here. But and I also bought antidotes because if I get poisoned, when you run around it actually hurts your Pokemon, so that's gonna be really, really clutch as well to have. Because obviously if it faints like while I'm running back somewhere, that would suck. So really, really it's gonna be clutch to have antidotes. I know that they're gonna, that they are definitely gonna come in handy. Um, but yeah, okay. Alright, so we're actually making pretty good progress. I'm probably gonna wrap up this episode pretty, pretty soon. After, you know what, after we catch this next Pokemon here, because this is a new route, new area, new Pokemon. If we find another Mew, 
I I don't know. I don't know. But we can. It's possible. My point, like it's possible to find another Mew. So let's see what uh, what this little grass patch is is like has in store. Let's put it back into normal speed. You know, for the intensity purposes. We got a Breloom the first time. Honestly, not the best Pokemon in the world. It actually might know like Stun Spore or something. Let's actually check its moves because if it does know Stun Spore or any of those moves, obviously, that would be pretty good. Uh, absorb stun for it actually does. Oh my I was not expecting that. Okay, sweet. All right. So awesome. Yeah, that is great Okay, we're def Oh, origin actually has an item on him. I forgot that you get ra random items from your guys fresh water Okay, that's, that's okay. I guess I mean why not have it all right, but here we go. Here we go Let's see what our next Pokemon is gonna be <sighs> From a Mew to a Spinarak All right I mean, we might as well catch it. We might as well catch it. I mean, it, it, it might, it might, it might not be the best Pokemon ever. It's definitely not the best Pokemon ever. But it could come in handy, I guess, at some point, somehow, sometime, somewhere. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, it would be a decent decoy Pokemon. But I mean, I guess I can't complain. I cannot complain. I was given a Kyogre to start the series. I can't complain. So, anyway, well, let's, let's do one more tackle, then surely a, uh, a, po a Pokeball is gonna catch it. It actually is really, really clutch that Mushroom has a Stun Spore on him, because that, um, that's something to be helpful, or useful for catching other Pokemon. But anyway, let's go back here, catch this dude real quick, should be easy first try. If not, that's just a joke. There we go. And there we go, Spin Rack was caught. Uh, I'm gonna go back and heal my Pokemon. Oh, we actually have to nickname him. That's right. Let's name him Spitter. Let's name him uh, Spitter because he looks like a spider. Oh my gosh, I stink at life. Honestly, guys, if anyone asks you who the worst person at life is, you gotta say me. It's gotta be me. Okay, here we go. Spitter. There we go. There we go. Spitter. Atta boy. All right, so. That's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Uh, next episode, obviously, I'm gonna have all my Pokemon healed and ready to go on to the next route. I'm sure that we'll find at least two new areas, at least two new areas in next episode. So I don't know if we'll have a full party, but we're getting, we're getting, we're making a lot of progress here. We're making a ton of progress. Right now, we have Mushroom Origin and Spitter. Let's actually check his item real quick. King's Rock. I forget what that does, but I think it actually is kind of good. But anyway, enough rambling on. That is gonna be it. For today's episode, if you did enjoy, be sure to smash the heck out of the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.